see the pain. I see the pain in your eyes. Somehow I relate tonight. It would be different, different if we were like couple with nothing to like. Honestly, you just have a mind. good everybody i'm back with another video just a little mukbang right now this is my pre-workout meal i'm running really late so it's like i gotta be i gotta be quick with this video i just wanted to say what's up and uh, give you guys a quick update i have an appointment at 11 a.m it's currently 10 47 so i got like maybe five minutes to eat five minutes to get to where i'm going i don't want to tell you guys too much about it because you know i don't know how things are going to unfold but i do have some plans going on you know some you know business plans and Hopefully, you know, by the power of God, everything does go straight. What you guys seen right there was me making my pre-workout meal. Just uh, 100 grams of rice. It's 100 grams before it's cooked. Turned out to be 250 after I cooked it. I got two large eggs on top of that just to add some fats and some proteins. But this is what I eat every day before my workout. At least, you know, two hours before my workout. I'll just tell you guys where I'm going. I'm going to the bank. I'm not going to tell you guys why I'm going to the bank. But I do have some plans, like I said, and hopefully... By the power of God, everything does go straight. Today is Friday, so I hope everybody out there has a great weekend, an amazing weekend. And um, if you're drinking, if you're clubbing, if you're going to the bars, partying, you know, just be safe and uh, be cautious of the people around you. Be cautious of yourself and what you do and what situations you put yourself into. I don't usually go out like that anymore unless it's with like family and really close friends. I don't know who can relate, but if you're a homebody, it just gives you a lot of time to like do things you need to do and take care of and try to be genuine here, have a conversation with you guys. Like I said, I am in a rush. So I'm just, you know, saying whatever comes up to my mind and uh, mm -hmm. I'm getting pretty full over here. You know what I'm saying? Cutting season right around the corner, about two more weeks until I start cutting. Um, excited for that. We got big plans for the summer, not just for me, but for my whole family. You know, everybody's going through a, a transition, you can say, or a big change. And I'm excited for it. It's a little, it's a little uh, nerve wracking, but you know, anything uh, big in life, anything or any big change in life is going to be a little bit, um, you know, it's going to be a little iffy, but, you know, I look at it now as like, you know, new doors opening, opportunities opening, opportunities presenting itself. You know, we're all excited. We all got plans. We all have goals. We have all, we all have dreams. We all have visions. We all have something that we want to chase. And I think this summer is probably going to be the biggest summer for all of us with my family, with my friends and anyone out there that's chasing a dream, chasing a goal. You know, chasing a vision, man, just keep going. You know, it's gonna be hard. Anything in life that you want, you're gonna have to work hard for. You know, don't be discouraged by setbacks, by failures. That's what's gonna build you up even, you know, stronger, better. But don't be scared of failures, you know. Everybody, everybody fails in life. Everybody fails in life. So when you when you uh, encounter a failure, it's, it's supposed to be an experience. It's supposed to be a lesson. You're supposed to learn from it and you're supposed to grow from that lesson. So. That's why God be putting all these failures, all these setbacks in our lives so you can learn and grow. Because without growth, what's the point of life? You know, you're going to be living in the same direction. You're going to be living in the same altitude, just going straight. You know, in math class where they tell you about the line segments or, you know, you're just going straight in life, you know, without failures, without setbacks, without pain, without struggle, 
without hurt, you know, you're not gonna go nowhere. So you gotta embrace the struggle, you gotta embrace the pain, you gotta embrace all the setbacks, all the failures that you're gonna that you're gonna go through, whether it's business, relationships, mentally, emotionally, physically, uh, psychologically, anything, you know, you're gonna you're gonna have to face some sort of struggle to get to where you wanna get to. And that's just God telling you that he's putting this certain situation in your life so that you can grow and become the person that you're supposed to become. Like I said, I'm just rambling right now. I just wanted to update you guys. Just wanna put some content out there. I've been feeling very productive as I, you know, go through this sobriety phase in my life and just trying to get a lot done, trying to put a lot of faith in God. That everything's gonna play out the way it's supposed to play out, the way he's got everything planned out for me, you know. I'm just trying to, you know, follow his, follow his path, you know, follow my direction in life where he's already have it built for me. Just trying to have that clear path and you know follow that. Like I said, it's just you know a little ramble video, a little, a little something so I can put out there and you know get my content back popping on a regular basis. I'm gonna finish this up. Head to the bank. Uh, after that, head to the gym. Enjoy my weekend. I'm going to church Sunday. Hopefully, you guys go to church on Sundays. Um, I just started going. You know, and my life's been a lot better ever since I've been going. So like I said, I hope everybody out there is doing great. I hope you guys, you know, continue to grow, continue to chase your visions, continue to chase your dreams. And uh, just have faith in God that everything's gonna work out the way it's supposed to. Thank you guys for checking in. I'll probably post again in a couple days. Thank you guys for the support. Love you guys to death. And yeah, I'll catch you guys later, man. Peace.